Look, I'll give you the double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, septuple, eighttuple, nine, nine something deal. Yeah. Hello. another video review and this time we are looking at Transformers Earthrise leader class double dealer I'm fairly certain my cousin had this one uh, the G1 version I'm not sure but I think I'm fairly sure he had something very very similar the only thing I remember him from was for the comics when um, I think it's spotlight hot rod where he thought, rod thought double deal was dead Turns out he wasn't dead, but was working for Banzai Tron. Yes, that is a name. It is basically a recolor of Bludgeon. So, skeletal, skeletal Samurai Decepticon. That sometimes can transform, sometimes can't. Just cause. So, we'll come in onto the detail. Very nice head sculpt. And very nice on the paint. Very nice red for the eyes and very light blue for the face, which makes the eyes pop a lot. Um, the head kind of looks like it's some sort of Power Ranger helmet with um, a um, animal face in it. It's just what I see. Uh, Autobot symbols tamtographed in there, which will get onto a little trick this this one has. Um, come on to the chest or torso area, whatever you want to call it. Got various different colours which still work together, which is probably why I like it. All the colours are nice and bright, but have some neutrality to them as well. You've got the brightness of the blue, silver and red, and then you've got the dark of the black and the boring sort of um, bathroom grey. We've got some more red lower down and some more light blue. And come on to the legs, we've got some blue, grey and um, turquoise, well not turquoise, lilac. Uh, also some lilac on the upper torso area. A lot of nice moldy detail also. Uh, come on to the legs. I think the G1 version, these were stickers. I don't know but I think they were. Um, a bit of yellow, just a bit of difference. Um, bit of red for the sides of the legs, you can see the wheels, a lot of silver in light blue and some very dark um, camo -y green I don't know if that's the right word but that's what I'm calling it camo -y green for the legs uh, it looks more like a weird blue but it's definitely a dark green I assure you come on to the arms um, some more some yellow up top some more of that very dark green and the rest of the arm is black Come on to the side, it's, well, not really much to say. And then the back of it is basically um, bird bits. To want of a better term, bird bits. So I'll just get him here. So, before we go into articulation, we'll give you a, I'll just show you the accessories. The first one he comes with is this thing. I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, some silver and light blue and some red. Um, don't know why it just didn't have more light blue and silver all the way through on this bit, but oh well. I'll just have the details in black. Um, would have made it stand out a bit more, in my opinion. It has a port there and a tab there. So you can put that in many different places. You could have that 
on the side of either leg. You could have that on either side of the arm. Have it so have some arm mounted rocket or some power driver thing if you wanted. Have it as a, a hand mounted missile thing if you wanted. Uh, have it mounted on top of the shoulders if you so wish. Fits in very snugly. Snugly. Uh, you are supposed to put it in either of these ports. The problem is it's not the snuggest of connections. It's not bad in there, but in that one, okay, it's not too bad, but it is a little bit loose. And if anything else goes behind, it it really does not feel great. Um, what else? Have we got anywhere else to put this? You could also, I think, can you put, yeah, you could put that in there if you want, or can you put that in the top one? Just about put in the top one, if you so wish. So, plenty of ports to put. Oh, you can also um, put it on the foot if you want, make him look like he's skating on a rocket if you want. If you want to do that, who am I to stop you? Leave it to the side a minute because there is something first. There's also this thing, which I'll put these... I've put these both the same way. And you could, it's got these two tabs on here and then two on either end of here and here. Um, this is on ball joints, this is on a ball joint, this is on a tab. But it is a bit soft, um, so you need to give it a bit of force inwards while you're pressing, otherwise it will pop off. So you'll need to press it to press it to turn it that way and press to turn it that way I don't know doesn't seem like there's any stress marks but I'd just be a little bit careful uh, you can also combine this with any of the earthrise figures that have bridges attached to them which is nice what you're meant to do is these these two slots um, tabs right here which go into these two slots right here it feels like at first you might not be doing it right, but it does go in pretty tightly. You just need to, you might need to um, angle it slightly upwards, like so, until it's nice and snug. Now, I think that I just, woo. yeah. Now I just zoom the camera in a little bit. Now I think that helps the look ever so much and to me it makes it look like he's got a Chaos Space Marine backpack for those who do play Warhammer 40,000 for those who don't then never mind I'll just zoom out again so yeah this it does give the problem for this because well at least on my copy so mileage may vary it's supposed to go on either of these shoulders problem is because of these two Things on here, you can't put it straight ahead, you have to put, put it on slanted or only put it in slightly. It does make it a little bit loose. It sticks in fairly well, it just feels a little bit loose to me. Or what you could do is with this port here, plug it in like that if you wanted to. But instructions say you're supposed to have it like that, so that's how I'm having it. And it's got it straight on because the camera is on. How many other reviewers have the same sort of thing? Anyway, other accessories he has. He has two of these missile launchers, which these, as far as I'm aware, do can use the um, blast effects parts, which is nice. So, um, again, put these on the legs, put these on the arms, wherever you want. Where am I going to put them? I am going to mount them on the arms just because like so um, you have options and options is always good that's the nice thing about the War of the Cybertron trilogy it gives you options of where you want to put weapons or do you want to ha add weaponizers or do you want to add battle masters you have the option the thing is Shapeways is really good for Siege and um, Decepticons of Earthrise. I'll just go on to one tangent before I show you the other accessories. Look at the Autobots for Earthrise and look at the Decepticons for Earthrise. The Autobots for Earthrise look like mini masterpieces. Good articulation, good robot mode, good vehicle mode. Look at 
Optimus Prime, the upcoming Sunstreaker, Ironhide, stuff like that. They look like the MP Masterpiece versions, just with slightly more stylized alt modes and a bit less articulation and accessories and cheaper price wise. Decepticons, the things the thing is I take away from Decepticons is basically fun, fun, fun. The reason I say that is they keep the aesthetics the same of basically having weapon ports and whatever and basically not looking like anything from Earth. Um, unless you take into account RC, which doesn't look like anything from Earth, but it's G1. And Starscream, which, okay, very G1. But the rest of the Decepticons, it's basically weapon ports and fun, fun, fun all around. Just basically... The Decepticons feel like they're just taking on the same thing they did for Siege. They're just carrying on the same MO, well, as the Autobots. No, we're going full on G1. End of. So the rest of the accessories he comes with is this little um, pea shootery gun. It's got, I'll just show you the detail, a moulded in um, ammo in there. Um, it's nice, it's got some various blast effect um, nubs to put them on and a, a um, knob to put to either for him to hold it or to shoulder mount it or whatever you want. I'm going to have him... Um, what am I going to do with it? I'll leave it to the side for a second. I'll show you why in a minute. He comes with this great big blaster cannon thing. Which, as you'll see, goes with that. It's got various ports, so you can have him arm mounting it, hand mounting it, shoulder mounting it, um, have it plugged onto the back of this thing, to have it like a rocket if you want. Have it wherever you want. And it's got also various ports on so you can put the various weapons on. So what I like to do is plug this on backwards. It's not the um, it's not the tightest, but holds in fairly well. Then what I like to do is pull the missiles off. Because of course. Plug the missiles onto here. And then we've got a Blaster thing with missiles and a scope. So I'll just plug that into his hand. And there we go. Um, problem with this figure is, before going to articulation, the elbow's a little bit weak for this weapon because it is a little bit heavy. I'll just zoom the camera upwards. Yeah, it is quite a big gun. Um, but yeah, you can basically have it however you want so well I'll just take this off and take off his gun so we can go on to the articulation oh one more thing he comes with this thing it's some sort of sonar dish radar dish whatever no idea what it is it's the only accessory that only works in the vehicle alt mode other than that I don't see the point. Um, plug it into there if you want. Plug it. Can you plug it into the cannon somewhere? Um, I don't know. Plug it into the back of there if you want. Um, oh, that just makes things worse for articulation, does it? Does it actually? Um, yeah, it really does. Um, uh, maybe give this to a different one or just plug it, plug it into the back, I think. Like that. There you go. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, it's got various port on top for a blast effect part and some holes on there just just because it's the bit that no one cares about. So I'll just move them off to the side as I'll show off the articulation. On the head it's not too bad. A bit uh, up and down. More down than up. Focus camera. So bit of down, tiny bit of up, little bit of side to side, only a little bit and then it goes n not quite all the way around because of how the um, black bits of the helmet just bump into the sides of here, which is a shame but you've got enough articulation to get what pose you want. You've also got arms that go out this far and rotate all the way around, just be careful of 
these sections but they are on ball joints so you can get them out the road or take them off if you want so you can get all the way around you've got elbow swivel double bend at the elbow that's more for transformation but it's there you've also got which is nice a wrist articulation and goes all the way around um, it can go in and out but that's more for transformation it doesn't look like it but there is waist articulation which is nice the hips are on soft ratchets which unless it was the um, commander or titan class I thought they did away with ratchets but you can hear it more forward than back but goes however way you want the knees feel a little bit loose people say the knees are loose I don't think they are but I can understand it so that's how much kneel you've got can he kneel not mm, I'm gonna say no if he was about an inch and a half tall he'd probably be able to kneel but hey ho and he can can he do the splits yes pretty much um, he's also got ankle articulation, which goes pretty far. Like that. <laughs> he can do full Van Damme, as some reviewers do call it. Can't remember who. So. Oh, he also does have a mushroom peg for the thigh. You need to give it a little bit of force to get all the mushroom peg. It doesn't go that much, but it gives you enough. You've also got a bit at the knee, but that's more for transformation. That's why I think why people think it's loose, because this moves. But it feels solid. This is a little bit loose, but you get the poses that you want with this. And it's one of the ones I've noticed that Hasbro do do good photos of. I know. So, one of the gimmicks this one has is he can be a Decepticon if you want. So, Autobot symbol. There's these little flaps on here, which when you flap, flip them down, he's a Decepticon. Because I think in the 80s cartoons of um, Zone and whatever else, the, the 80s ones, he works for both sides. In the comics, he kind of works for both sides slash is a mercenary. And there you go, Decepticon symbols on both sides. From what I can gather, you have to leave them up for transformation, which is what I'm going to do. Now, this is a triple changer. So what I'm going what I am going to do is go from robot mode to either alt mode and from Either alt mode to either alt mode, just to give you how to transform from one to the other. Because I'm like that. So, what you also want to do, to get ready for transformation, is pull this section off. Yeah, I'll just go on another tangent, just because. It has screws. Not many Transformers nowadays have screws in them. Unless they're really big ones. I mean, that's that's a bit something. But that's just me. So, let's go to truck mode first. So, what you want to do is, firstly, fold the hands in. You want to have them so they're twisted the right way around. So, fold them in there. They don't go, they don't feel like they go all the way in, but... When they don't go any further, stop. Don't try and force them. When they don't go any further or don't feel like they go any further, you've got them in. Job done. Then what you want to do is, with this section, fold it up and just leave that like that for now. Then come to this section and pull it out and leave that like that for now. Um, then what you want to do is come to the arms and there's a little post right there or tab whatever you want to call it and in the arm there's a little port right there so you want to rotate the arm all the way and push it in it's a little bit tricky 
but once you've found it, it's, they're in, pretty tight, like so. Leave them like that for now, while you come to the legs. This just gives you a bit of room. What you want to do is, um, let's see, you want to fold something out, I know that. Yeah, fold these sections out, like so. Then what you can do is rotate at the legs and fold them in, like so. Now one thing to note is because of all these bumps and um, gappiness of the legs, which I don't mind, but I know some people will, you, they might get bumping into each other when you're transforming out. Um, just a little bit of care. I looked on Prime versus Prime's video and the stress mark is caused on here. I thought the plastic was, was weak, but the plastic seems fairly alright. What the hell's he been doing to it, man? Has he been trying to destroy it or something? Because, good grief. I've had no problems with mine. I'm, maybe its mileage may vary, but... Nah, no problem. And then you want to push the legs in as you folded them up. Now, I don't know if you fold these leg sections in all the way. Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, looking in here, there's a tab which is supposed to go into one of these two bits. So, let's have a go. If it goes in, then I've been right. There's these um, bits on the legs which might help this along. Legs seem fairly accommodating as far as I'm concerned, so... Prime versus Prime. Useless person on YouTube to someone who's at the very least semi-professional. Be a bit more careful with your figures, man. Um, nah, I can't get them in. I'm fairly sure you're supposed to, and it feels like they're supposed to go in, but nah. So then what you want to do is pull this section out, unless it's gone back in. Rotate this around, and there's... These two notches on here, which go on to these bits here. Now, if you notice, these the this is very gappy, which I think there's the a collectible um, cassette bot for Earthwise Rise that can go into there and holds in with these two posts. I don't know, but that's what I gather is the case. I mean, um eh. It is what it is. So push it down. It is a bit tricky, but it will go in to both bits, like so. Then what you want to do is come to the arms and pull these sections, like so. You might, you, so I'll just show you again if in case you missed it. Pull, and you want to hold onto these back sections. So hold on. Hold on with your finger, this bit, and then hold on to this bit with the other finger. Like, I'll try and get you on camera, like that. Then you can pull at this section, like so, and it will go into place, like so. Same on the other side, although you could just Hold on to this side with your thumb, so I'm going to make it more complicated. Like so. It will snap out, like so. Then what you want to do is come to the back and fold the wings. And fold the lower wing sections down, so everything gets some clearance. Like so. Yeah, the problem is this will pop out quite a bit. It's not a loose connection or awkward connection, it's just weird. So, that is basically Double Dealer in his vehicle mode. If I just zoom in somewhat. Oh, and fold this around like so. So, I like it, but it seems a little bit bare. So, let's add the accessories.
get the front half of the, the missile and the big blaster and put them together lining them up like so and it's pretty snug all together so bring all the accessories in and in what you want to do firstly is grab this section here and pull it out a bit and get these two ports will go into here like so the front one isn't that secure but it's mainly the back one that helps so then that will go like that it's already come along you could leave it like that and that looks awesome enough but we know you don't want to just leave it like that then take this you've got these two posts right here which will go into these sections that will plug into it will plug into it's a little bit hard but you got to give it a bit of force but it will go in then you could leave it like that but i like to fold that up hide the head a bit more and it remember just give it a bit of push or otherwise it will pop off and then these section these can just fold up there then bring the missiles and put them wherever you want the box shows them to be in there so that's what i'll do it looks awesome enough there so that's what i'm going to do like so then get the um, pea shooter minigun machine gun and it says in the instructions put it in there so that's what i'll do like so uh, because of how it's um, placed it's pointing upwards a little bit take the radar dish and if you're doing what it does in the box and instructions poke it in to there so that's what i'll do and that is double dealer armored up in the alt mode it is a really really nice looking alt mode especially when it is armored up the armored up bits really do help it especially this radar dish this radar dish i think is a bit of a cherry on the cake for this mode the only downside i feel is this doesn't feel like it's connected to much the front bit but it still rolls not too badly um, articulation wise you are looking at just these you just put them down like so this bit goes down like so this moves up and also this moves up the problem with that is you can see the head sticking out but i suppose you could just have that um what could you do with that i suppose what you could do is have that facing uh, that way round and then have the missile popped up no that don't, that don't work either <laughs> whatever way you have it the head's going to be popping out unfortunately um yeah so people saying that ooh, stay in there rocky stay in there people are saying that is another mode in what universe is that a mode it's just basically articulation so i'll just pack all this up and then i'll just show you the detailing of this awesome war machine I'll just zoom out as much as I can very very nice detail on there you can see the cockpit so if that was a human thing if humans went in there it'd be freaking massive man I mean I had no interest in this but it's one of them things you see it you just want it um because i am a corporate thrall a spending thrall and i'll buy stuff that i like at least a little bit of a look of and on the underside yeah we've got wing bits so yeah it's awesome so get it back into robot mode so to get him from robot mode into bird mode yes bird mode what you want to do first is kind of go into truck mode so pull these sections out fold the hands in 
and rotate them around and they'll go on to the same slots as before. A lot of it's from truck mode to this bird mode but I'm just showing you it this way because I'm nice like that. Unfortunately the camera is not nice and will not focus. Yeah that's it. Right, then what you want to do is... Do you want to fold the legs in yet? Yes, you do. Fold the legs in, like so. Fold the legs in, and then snap them together. Don't know why I'm singing Indiana Jones. Just go with it. Then what you want to do is fold this out, rotate it around, and plug it on to the back of here. Nothing new so far. Same old, same old. I suppose what you could do is fold these sections in. No, they're not going to go in. Okay. Right, so then what you want to do is pull the arm sections like that for the time being. So you've got some clearance. Then what you want to do is come to here and pull this up and around. So, so it's facing like that for now. Then what you want to do is make sure this is all clipped together. <laughs> Come to the wings, and these are on ratchets. I don't know why, but they're on ratchets. Open them up. Pull this section open, and pull out the head. Like so. So, the head will, the robot mode head will go in. Might need to give it a bit of force, but it will. Then, what you can do is fold that up and this tab will go into there, like so. Then rotate the head until it's like that. Then rotate the wings up even more so you've got a bit of clearance. And then fold the arm sections and all this bit down. Well actually, no, sorry. What you want to do first is with this section fold it all the way down until it folds into there. Once this is all in, this will go in much easier. Then, once this has stopped being frustrating, this is the most frustrating bit, this low section. It's not the worst, but it's a little bit annoying. Then what you want to do is... <laughs> fold these sections down, like so. Uh, if they come out, you know, just poke them back in. Like so, it will go in, honestly it will. Yeah, then what you want to do is pull these sections down and pull these lilac ones out. Same on this side. And then pull these out and then pull the wing out. Same on this side. Pull out, pull out and then have the wings however you want. So, we have a bird. He can stand, I have gotten to stand, like so. However, he looks a little bit wonky. I think he looks awesome, but he looks a little bit wonky. What can we do to remedy this? Quite a bit, actually. So, let's take firstly, the rocket. And this. Plug the back sections into here. Now, this tab will just rest in there, won't plug in or anything, but this one will. Fairly solid, fairly solid. Uh, these just leave them out for now. And then, if you've noticed, there's this clip, but there's no more uses apart from this. So, there's these two sections here and here. It clips onto here. It makes the back bit a little bit more stable. So that just clips into there. Like so. Might need to give it a bit of force, just don't br break it because they them clips ain't the thickest of plastics and then it looks like he's got a tail feather, which is nice. You can clip this you can clip the grey bits onto here if you want, but if you want everything on then this is the best way to do it. And just have these bits just folded in there, it's don't really matter too much. So, let's see, the other accessories. This pea shooter thing, the instructions, and everyone else has put it underneath here. You can 
I am not. What I am going to do, however, is plug that in up there. Then you have, as I sound like the count, ah, 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 these missiles. I'm going to plug them. I'm going to plug them in there. Like so. Doesn't really matter too much, but that's where I'm putting them. And then we've got uh, this, this thing. Um, um, the only place I've found that's um, out of the way somewhat is in there. Um, just looks like the birds had a bit of an unfortunate accident, but I can't find anywhere else to put this. Post in the comments below if there's somewhere better. I, I just don't know. Um, oh, and this bit moves in and out. Apparently that's for the alt mode. Um, for this alt mode. Okay. Um, don't get it, but okay. Sure. And that is Double Dealer in his bird mode. Can you make him stand any better than that? Um, yes. Yes, you can. I jinx in it. So, no. Um, I like this mode a lot. I don't know if it's all the stuff on the back. I think that helps the look of it somewhat. Uh, the rocket and whatnot on it. I think that helps the look a lot. People don't like this mode, which I can understand. It's basically bird mode head, bird mode feet, bird mode wings, kind of bird mode tail, stuck onto an upside down truck. Understandable, but it's G1 with knees. What else are you going to get? So, articulation. Well, I'll show you the colours as well. Because it's a fair bit of new. Nice detail on the wings. Very nice detail on the wings. Um, you've got these claws on the feet. Which, again, very nicely detailed. On the head. These jet black eyes. Which, um, on camera, they might look bluey. But they are definitely... Yeah, they are jet black. Um... Lower, lower um, beak is red. Shame the top beak isn't red, but it is what it is, and it is fairly nice as far as I'm concerned. So articulation-wise, we have a swiveling head. We have double um, joint. You've got a bit there and the top bit here, so it can look all the way up and can look fairly down. You've got a little... Um, tab right under there which means you can open up the beak fairly far as it goes and you can see teeth moulded in there just cause the legs can go that far down and that far up and that far up and fit and <laughs> and just that far back um, that's pretty. Oh, the wings. <laughs> of course. Uh, the wings can get flappity flappity in and out on that ratchet joint. Up and down, that f out that far and in that far with the wing, and then the back wing can go out that far and in all the way that far. So, yeah. I can understand why people. I can understand why people don't like this mode, like I say, but I really, really like it. So, before we end, we are going to go from bird mode to truck mode. I'm not going to go truck mode to bird mode because I've basically done that from robot mode because a lot of it's going into truck mode with a little bit of difference. So, to go from bird mode to truck mode, what you want to do is remove everything you might need to give a little bit of force to get the rocket off not a huge amount but enough remove the missiles and that's basically all the stuff removed yes so what you want to do is fold the feet in and fold these sections up and then it looks like it's got wings and wheels <laughs> then what you want to do is Fold these sections out so you've got some clearance. Then move this bit up. 
just up like that for the time being. Then open up this flap. Then the head of the bird wants to be, I believe, like that. And then it wants to be at that angle. Then pull and rotate around. And then it will just go in. It's just about snug. And then fold this in there. And then what you want to do is fold the wings in. Don't put these back sections in, otherwise it will not roll. Fold this in and fold this in. And then fold that in. If you find they won't go in, then put the other wing in first. They will only go in one way. Simple as that. Then rotate these around until they click in. Well, until they don't go any further in. Then pull these sections up. Actually, no. Then fold that up. Then fold that up. Then pull these sections. Then pull this section around like so there you go then make sure this is in <laughs> and that's basically how you go from bird mode to the alt mode well to the truck alt mode and then as i've said before add the rocket bits however you want so that's basically it for double dealer you can find it pretty much as this recording is going out it's pretty much available near enough anywhere in the UK that does sell Transformers a lot and in the US pretty much anywhere that sells Transformers a lot. It is also in on online retailers as of now, I do believe anyway, uh, UK, American, whatever. You are looking at between 40 and 75 quid, depending on where you get it from. In Smith Toys, you are looking at about 46 quid. I think I paid six quid too much. The reason being is, while I think each mode looks really nice, the transformation is a little bit too simple for me. Astro Train, I got for about 40, the Earthrise slash Siege one. This, I feel mm, about six quid too much it's also a little bit small for a leader you have to remember the size class for leaders as Theo Adams said it's not size anymore it's price point class deluxe price point class voyager price point class leader price point class commander price point class so on and so forth the paint is good the articulation is amazing the accessories bar the little flashlight uh, sonar whatever thing great i i like the bird mode Ugh. yeah all right i like the bird mode more than the truck mode i've said it but i just like it a bit more all the modes as far as i'm concerned is good all the accessories help each mode look amazing and you could just add battle masters and whatever else on this to increase the look of this and as far as i'm concerned if you want um, an updated double dealer or you just like into collecting Transformers, this isn't a bad one. I will say though, because of this lower section, I would not give this to very young kids. I would probably look at giving it to seven, eight year olds, round about that sort of age older. But if you're an adult collector like me, doesn't really matter too much. So that has been Transformers Earthrise. Leader class, double dealer. And that is it for me. Goodbye for now.